Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-four in chapter twenty-six. Chapter twenty-six is about DC circuits. In this circuit, we can see R one, R two in parallel connection and then connected in series with R three, right? Mm -hmm. And each resistor, the power is equal. That is zero point five watt. Ask you what is the maximum voltage that can be applied across the whole network. So you can see, uh, as we look at these three resistors, resistance is given, power is given. So we can get the standard current and the voltages across these resistors. Agree? As we see, the power P equal to I squared times R. So I equal to squared P over R, and P equal to V squared divided by R. So V equal to squared P R. Then we can input the given quantities R one, R two, R three, and the power P one, P two, P three to get the standard current and the standard voltages for each resistor in these two list. Mm -hmm. There we need to find the maximum voltages that can be applied across the network. So that means it should be the voltages for V one, V two plus the voltages for V three. Agree? Yes, and then we look at V one, V two, uh, V one, V two. Of course, V two is larger than V one, right? Yes. So it looks like if we do parallel connection with V one and V two, the maximum voltage we can choose is uh, three seven point four volts. That means we can apply the voltages three seven point four volts over V one over resistor R one and R two. Right, this is three seven point four volts in this uh, power part from this point to this point. Right, and the next one we can consider the current from the I one R one and R two should. Less than the standard current for R three, right? We don't want to R three R three burn out. So now we can do the the current for I one and I two, right? For I one and I two, you can say I one is V one over R one, I two is V two over R two. So that means the I one two. So that is a current can go through this R three is. We add them together. We find wow, this number is larger than the standard current for I three, right? It is larger. So that means, in if we do the calculation, if you we do this part work, the current I the resistor I three will burn out, right? This I three burn out. So we cannot do that. So that means we need to satisfy the requirement. The current goes through the I three should less than the standard current for I three. Do you agree? So that means we need to do this way. So the I three, this one is the standard current in the main branches. So I must equal to I three. Right now we know the current is given. How can we get the voltages in this two point, the external point for the whole network? That means we need to write find the equivalent resistance for this circuit, right? So that means we find the equivalent resistance for R one and R two. We can write it as R one two. This is a parallel connection, so you get is R one two at there, and the equivalent resistance should be R one two plus R three, and the term look like this one. Find the Maximum voltages across the whole network should be the current I times R equivalent. So this I is just I three times this term, and then we put all the given quantities get answer zero, fifty seven volts. Thank you.